So my daughter's been taking karate for four or five years now and um, uh, doing pretty well with it. And a few years ago, we were um, approached with the, uh, the option of joining the leadership program and thought that would be a pretty good idea. Uh, the one thing we uh, always try to do is whenever our daughter wants to join something, uh, we, we try to manage her time very carefully. She's a very busy girl. She's got karate and violin and art classes and keeping up with friends and homework and uh, poor thing never gets a break. So whenever um, we let her join something, it's got to be a high value thing. It's got to be something she's going to learn lifelong skills with or um, something she's going to be able to take with her for the rest of her life. And we thought leadership would be a, a good, uh, good opportunity. So I think some of the things they learn in there, uh, you know, additional karate skills, which is always good for just the exercise and um, the health aspects. Uh, they learn some weapons and uh, get to interact with a, a smaller uh, group of kids that are all kind of striving for the same goal, if you will. They get to um, uh, maybe lead a class or parts of a class, that is. They get to uh, kind of coach kids when they're not doing something well or when they are doing something well. It's all in a in a very positive environment. So instead of you know telling somebody what they did wrong, they're taught to tell people what they're doing right and how can they improve in other areas, which I think is a one of these things that um, you, know, you, you learn a lesson like that, it sticks with you for forever. I remember one uh, lesson was dealing with frustration and, I, and how to handle it. And I thought to myself, this is one I got to listen to. Uh, the whole point of it was um, frustration is really caused by by poorly set expectations. People think they can do more than they can. When they can't, they get frustrated. And I, I, I myself fall into that trap all the time. And um, what they're taught is to kind of break things down in, into smaller chunks uh, that you can accomplish to your level of expectations. I thought that was a pretty good uh, lesson to, uh, to have there. And I, it took me 40 some odd years to hear something that simple. And my daughter got it in 12, so. So what's uh, Elizabeth getting out of leadership? Um, for one, I have seen her confidence levels go way up when she's having to work in a classroom type setting or, or work on a team project. Uh, she, uh, I, I've seen her um, ability to deal with um, her, her team, her classmates a lot better. When they do something great, you applaud them. When there's something you don't really like, she's learned how to say, this looks good, but maybe we should try something different. And uh, I think that comes from leadership. So would I recommend uh, leadership? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I look at, uh, you go to high school football games and you, you see the quarterback, you see the drum major, you see the coach, uh, you see valedictorians, and those skills just weren't, uh, um, didn't come out of thin air. They didn't wake up one day and know how to lead an entire band or a football team. They were taught somehow, somewhere. I think you, you can find a great teacher that we'll, we'll encounter, uh, our students will encounter that are gonna teach them leadership skills, a great coach, a great parent, and uh, leadership uh, is just another way for them to learn how to, how to lead and how to deal with uh, kids in a, in a team type of environment. So, so the uh, last couple of years have been a, a wonderful experience for leadership for my daughter, and uh, I'd recommend it for sure.